I don't recommend harvesting potatoes when you got this much green vine, but I've got some business to attend to that I can't that can't wait. And I wanted to get some of this work done so Mrs. Midwest Gardener wouldn't have to do it. So I'm gonna get rid of these vines and we'll dump this out and see what we have. By the way, these are Kennebec potatoes. There's a big blister beetle. Don't handle those with your bare hands. Some people have some pretty bad reactions to them. Now let's dump this out and see what we have. Boy, this is a rough one. Hopefully that means we've got some some potatoes in here. The roots are really hanging on to the bag. All right. Bust this thing open and see what we have. So far, nothing. <laughs> There's some. Oh, those are nice ones. Nice big ones. Well, those are large. So far, the potatoes that were grown in grow bags, I favor the Kennebecs. They've done really well for us. And as you can see, we're getting some really nice ones out of this bag. Whoops, I just broke one. All of them are pretty nice, especially considering how green the vines were. I thought they might have some more time to grow. That's a huge one there. These are really nice. Yeah, I just got done harvesting some Adirondack Blue and some Yukon Gold, and these Kennebecs are putting them to shame. We still got some. Yet to pick, or to find rather. There's my seed potato, it's rotten. All right, I felt one. There's another nice one. Whoops, got some still on this bunch. That's the seed potato there, starting to rot. That wasn't bad, not bad at all. Look at some of those, huge. 10 gallon grow bag. This, this one's also got a lot of green. The vines are very healthy looking. Haven't started to die back much at all. something here I want to show you while we're doing this. Hopefully I can give you a good look at it. Those are potato beetle eggs. They look very much like a ladybug egg, except these are from a potato beetle. And we had a bunch of them on, on these plants. I'll be glad to get rid of those vines and these eggs.
Another thing that bothers potatoes or blister beetles, that black one there, they also come in gray and striped. They eat a lot of the foliage. Let's dump this one out and see what we have. Hopefully it'll dump easier than that last one. That's better. Boy, there's a huge one right there. Wow. There's another good one. Kind of all up here with, of course, where the seed potato was. I filled the bags about, oh, half full. And then put the seed potato down. And then filled it up as they grew, which mainly just adds support and more nutrients. Those are nice, just like the other bag. Really like the Kennebecs. I gotta put that big one over here and show it off. It's a nice one. Another nice one. And the sea potato's rotting. There's one right next to that one though. So with four seed potatoes, with the Kennebecs, they do okay. Some of the other potatoes, not as well. That's interesting to find out. I'll have to try to remember that for next year. So I was planning on only planting three. Here's another one of the four seed potatoes in the foliage. There's the other one. There's a potato. And I should mention if if you're planning on storing your potatoes, you want to wait until they die completely back. But I had other stuff going on that will not wait. So we just got to do what we got to do sometimes. That's all we got, looks like. I'll put those two harvest together and see what we have. Here's a look at the Kennebec harvest. Of the three types, I think I like uh, this harvest the best. Got some really large potatoes and a decent number of them. There's the Yukon Gold. And there's the Adirondack Blue. Here's a look at all of the potatoes together and some cucumbers that we harvested the same day. If you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.